there are two techniques that we employ. The first is called chemoembolization and the second is called thermal ablation. With chemoembolization, we first identify the arteries that are feeding a tumor. Once those are identified, we take tiny little catheters, we go up inside the body and we travel to those specific arteries. Once we're in the right spot, then we administer very high levels of chemotherapy. Unlike traditional chemotherapy, where the chemotherapy is going throughout your entire body, this chemotherapy is targeted directly inside the tumors. And for that reason, we're able to administer doses that are sometimes 100 times that of regular chemotherapy. After we've delivered the chemotherapy, what we then do is we block up those arteries to starve the tumors of their nutrients and oxygen. The second thing is called thermal ablation, and this involves taking a tiny little needle through the skin into the center of the tumor. Again, we use our imaging like ultrasound and CT to guide the needle so it's precisely in the center of the tumor. Once the needle is in place, we administer either hot or cold to kill the tumor. I treat tumors in the liver, lungs, and kidney. Some of my patients have been told that their tumors can't be surgically removed. Some of my patients have already had traditional chemotherapy, but haven't had a complete response. Still others haven't had any treatment at all, but are just looking for as many options as possible. Ultimately, these are just two more treatment options that patients should be aware of. Well first, you need to talk to your oncologist. You need to have an honest conversation with your oncologist to see if you're a right candidate. Because these procedures are relatively new, however, sometimes patients have to be their own advocate and have to find and contact an interventional radiologist themselves to see if they're a candidate. We typically don't use this procedure to replace other treatments. We use this procedure in concert with other treatments and that's when we get the best success. Although you may feel ill from the traditional chemotherapy, most patients don't feel ill or lose their hair from the chemoembolization or the thermal ablation. Well, the recovery depends upon the patient and the procedure, but over 90% of our patients go home the very next day and are back to their normal activities within a week. We have several cases in which patients think they've already exhausted their last hope. They think they're done, and then they find out about these procedures and we try them, and the results are astounding. Sometimes we're able to prolong life, but almost always we're able to give patients a better quality of life.